What are phonics? A definition for teachers and parents. Phonics can be defined as a body of knowledge and skills regarding how the alphabet works. In the context of this video, phonics refers to the method of teaching a student to read by developing their phonemic awareness and an understanding of the links between these sounds, and how we use the letters of the alphabet to represent them. This understanding is essential to not only read well, but to bridge the gap between reading and writing. With a good foundation of phonics knowledge, students can quickly become confident readers and strong independent writers. Phonemic awareness improves reading fluency. When students develop a phonemic awareness and it greatly enhances their reading fluency, which is a reading superpower allowing students to read with speed, accuracy and expression. Reading fluency greatly enhances students' ability to read with intonation and energy. That translates into expressive writing skills. How to teach reading using phonics. Phonics is a research-based solution to improving reading. The use of phonics, or synthetic phonics as this method is technically known, is an effective and efficient means of teaching young students how to read. For this reason, phonics is the primary method for teaching reading in the school systems of many English-speaking countries. In English, there are around 44 sounds or phonemes. Given that there are only 26 letters used in the language, and that many sounds have more than one possible spelling, it is helpful that students learn the relationships between the letters and sounds in a straightforward and explicit manner. To achieve this, phonics centers on the relationship between sounds and the ways in which they can be spelled. It focuses on the letter and sound correspondences to enable students to break written words down into their component sounds before later recombining them to read the whole word. This process is known as segmenting and blending. Segmenting and blending rather than allowing students to struggle to recognize complete words as in the whole word method or to look for contextual clues to figure out what is being said in a text? Phonics teaches students to look at the letters of a word, and segment it into its component sounds, before blending these sounds back together to read the entire word. For example, when faced with the word cat a student might run their finger under the first letter and make the initial car sound, then a, -A and finally ta. Once they have successfully segmented these individual sounds, they then blend them together to say the word cat. With practice, the speed with which students can look at a word, segment the sounds, and then blend these sounds together to read the word rapidly increases. This makes learning to read through the phonics method the most efficient way. For most children to learn not just to read, but to write too. Decoding and encoding, the bridge between reading and writing. Initially, phonics reaps rich rewards for students in terms of the passive skill of reading. This is also known as decoding. Later, the student's knowledge of phonics can help them develop the active skill of writing or encoding. For this reason, teachers will often weave emergent writing skills, such as letter formation, into their phonics lessons to take advantage of the opportunity to bridge this gap between the skills of reading and writing. What about sight words? As effective as synthetic phonics are in teaching students to read, they won't be enough on their own to unravel all the opaque mysteries of English orthography. English is something of a mongrel language. Over the centuries it has been influenced by the German, Latin, French, Greek, and Celtic languages, among others. This fact has led to many inconsistencies in spelling surviving in the modern language. Sometimes phonics won't be enough to decode these words. That's why it is important for students to learn to read some words by sight alone, sight words, or high frequency words as they are also known. Are those extremely common words used time and again in most texts? Many of them are phonetically irregular and follow no conventional spelling rules. For children's reading books, sight words can account for up to 75% of the words in the text. Therefore, it's best to combine the study of phonics with the learning of these sight words for maximum effectiveness. This is something to consider when engaged in in your long-term planning.